Oh, good news, everyone! I am back. It is an emblem tutorial day because I'm not going to miss two weeks in a row. Like I said, I was out this weekend on a personal matter, uh, but I am back and I am bringing you my emblem tutorial where today we're going over Futurama's Planet Express logo. Uh, pretty awesome, pretty solid, pretty simple. I would put this on the easy scale. Um, especially like the first few, as you see, it's just a bunch of circles. Um, you want to get that black outline and then, uh, get some, your colors going here. Do a little bit of the color picker to get just the right color. If you want to, uh, slow down and copy the exact colors that I use, you can go ahead. But I realize there are a few different iterations of the Planet Express logo outside of the one seen on the show with, uh, different colors. And uh, maybe you want to put a background on it. Uh, that is completely up to you. I'll show you what this looks like with uh, a background and without it. Um, I'm building one without it, and then I'll uh, I'll show you what it looks like with the background. Just to give you a, a little look if you want to uh, change of what I'm doing. And of course, use whatever colors you want, but I decided to go with the good old traditional Planet Express logo. And I do realize that there is a, a spaceship in Black Ops 2's emblem editor, if you get a Relentless Metal on Free For All, which will save you a couple of layers. It's not absolutely perfect, uh, but it's a good starter shape. So if you have that, use that. I don't, because I don't play Free For All uh, in, in Black Ops 2, really, at all. I guess I should give it a try, really. I've only played it, like, three times in Free For All. Um, so maybe I'll do that in the future, but I don't have a Relentless Metal in the three times that I've played Free For All. So we're going to be making our own spaceship today, which is pretty simple. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I try to get it uh, just right because you see me go through uh, this top portion of the spaceship quite a few times to get it to just the right contoured shape. Make sure it doesn't look funky. Make Don't want to make it look like a dildo or, you know something like that so you're just gonna take a couple of these uh, curved triangles and the the top part isn't completely symmetrical i don't know why they, they give us so many shapes that should be symmetrical that aren't uh, but they do um, so you might want to use two uh, of the nose portions to make it symmetrical, or if you need to sacrifice a layer, which I'll show you that we need to do in order to give this a background, you can do that. It just makes it look a little nicer, but it's really not all that noticeable. So you'll see me do, experiment with a couple different things, because as you know, I make these things uh, on the spot, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing until I do it. So you see me finagling a little here with uh, some of the different shapes. And that, that you should be used to that by now. But Futurama, if you don't know, it's an amazing, amazing show. One of my favorites of all time. It was on uh, Fox for six, five years, five seasons. And then uh, the couple of DVD releases, the sales were good. And it was picked up by Comedy Central. I have had the great honor to meet Billy West at Comic-Con two years ago. Got his autograph. He's the voice of Fry and Zoidberg and uh, Zap Brannigan and The Professor and just a whole bunch of people. He's he's like 70% of the voices of the show. He's absolutely amazing. He also was the voice of Doug in the Nickelodeon show Doug and... Just a great, fantastic voice character all, overall. He's also done some video game work uh, with Spyro, I know, and a few others. But all I remember is that he voiced one of the dragons in Spyro. One of the Spyro games. I think it was the third one. Yeah, so that guy's really cool. Um, Bender, I met him too. I met the voice of Kif. And I also met the voice of uh, Hermes Conrad. The... Uh, the bureaucrats on the Planet Express team. All very, very cool people. I didn't get to see Leela. Uh, Katie Seagal, as you know, is uh, you know quite big as an actress. Uh, she's in Sons of Anarchy and, of course, was in uh, 